Okay, welcome back to World War 3 everyone. The game has returned in full force. And so in this video I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the game so far and how in my experience with it. And I have to say overall, I like what I see. The menu looks more refined, the gameplay itself looks a lot more refined, and I'm enjoying the experience as much as I did when I first got the game. It just feels like that brand new fresh experience. Most of this video will be gameplay with some background music like I usually do. But before we get into that, I'm just gonna give I'm just gonna give my overall thoughts, which include two yes, just two main gripes that I have with the game so far, which hopefully are both subject to change. The first one does not have to do with the launcher. I wanna say real quickly that I haven't had much trouble with the launcher. It seems to work smoothly for me. Other people say they're having issues, however. It may be a low-end PC problem and not a problem for the high-end PC that I have right now. But if you own a low-end PC and are playing this game and are having trouble, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. But onto my two main gripes with the game. Number one has to do with the fact that when you go to customize stuff now, you have to now grind to unlock the different guns and everything, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. I liked it better when all you had to do was play games and earn money from just playing the games. You didn't even have to win. You'd get a good sum of money from just playing and playing decently well. And so over time, you could accrue a bunch of in-game cash, which you could then spend on any guns, attachments, character customization stuff that you wanted. I liked that system them a lot better where you know you didn't have to grind for the specific character customization stuff that you wanted before but now you you, you do it's just experience based not cash based i like the previous system better where all you had to do was buy it and technically everything was unlocked you just had to buy it i hope they can bring that back into the final version of the game and not this this just feels like every other battlefield game i've played where it's like i want this thing in particular let's say but you're gonna make me grind 12 hours for it as opposed to the guy who just wanted this, you know? It just doesn't feel, it just doesn't sit right with me. Now that's a little more of a minor issue. Some of you may disagree with that or not. However, the second gripe that I have with the game is something a lot more major and I'm sure a lot of you agree with. Footsteps are non-existent in this game. And it makes zero sense to me how a dude with 50, 60 pounds of gear can run like a freaking ninja. Too many times I've been in a room and an enemy has just been able to sprint into the room without me noticing or hearing and just shoot me in the back. I should hear him coming down the hall, like, you know, Tarkov or a real life type of situation. Now, am I complaining about realism or something? A little, but the main thing is it, you should at least be able to hear when somebody's sprinting your way down the hall, even though you can't see into the hall. You know what I mean? In my opinion, this is a, this is a big issue and they gotta make sure footsteps are just a lot more audible in my opinion. Let me know what you think about footsteps and if it's as big of a problem for you as I'm thinking it is for me. But overall, those are my two main issues with the game in its current state. I really hope they work to change both of those things. But aside from that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to stay quiet now and I'll leave the rest of the gameplay to speak for itself. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time in the server.
That's actually not a bad scope. We've got a quick one here, watch out! 